Uh, before I let you up out of here, I want to get your thoughts on we 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 in uh, you know this this is a highly political season that we're in. Uh, next year is it's the presidential. Oh hell, you about to give me yeah. in trouble again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. No, I, I saved the best for last because I really want to hear your thoughts on it. on everything I said. Fuck it. Nah, you know, Trump leading in all the polls as pertains to running against Biden. Um, they are throwing everything at this man but the kitchen sink. Nothing seems to stick. His popularity is, you know, it, it, it's as big and as, as impactful as it's ever been, um, all of the polls show in five, it, it, five. Trump this go round. Once upon a time, it was beyond taboo to say I support this man. He was looked at as a racist. He was looked at as somebody who didn't care about black people. The same person who went on TV uh, years ago, 2008, I believe, and said George Bush don't care about black people, Kanye West, happily, boldly, wearing a MAGA hat. Kodak Black went on Drink Champs and said, I give Trump a million dollars. He got me out of jail. Sexy Red said, yo, black people, we support Trump. How do you think this race is going to turn out? And why do you think so many people of color are now standing up for a man who four years ago wouldn't touch him? So. <sighs> going to get in trouble. Fuck it. All right. So, um. Trump called us nigger to our face. Biden calls us a nigger behind closed doors. They both calling us a nigger. Trump gonna say it to your face. Biden might say it behind your back. So now we're dealing with two people that think of us the same way. It's the lesser of two evils. Well, the gas... It's higher now than it was in 2020. Uh, the economy is way down versus what it was in 2020. The streets is dried the fuck up right now compared to what it was when Trump was in office. See, what Trump did was, I believe, tr Trump used strategy. What First and foremost, he ran a company like a business. Which is which may not be a bad thing, but he, he used strategy when he was running when he was running against Hillary. He knew that black people didn't like Hillary a lot, so we wasn't gonna vote for her ass anyway. So if I'm being strategic, I don't need to put a lot of my time and energy and effort in the, the black vote because they're not gonna go vote for that bitch anyway. I'm gonna go get them racist. Middle America, white America, Southern people that had a black president for the last eight years that's mad as fuck about that shit. And I'm going to ride their ass up because I know they're going to go to, they're going to run to the polls for me. Because the niggas won't go in anyway because they weren't going to vote for Hillary in the first place. Feel what I'm saying? She was weak to black women because she let a man goddamn get his dick sucked in the over office and ain't going to well. And quite frankly, we know the bitch be lying and shit. So he didn't have to worry about Hillary. So why does he have to worry about the black vote? Because of the fact that we weren't going to go vote for. Her. So he go get all Jeff Rhodes, all the goddamn, all, you know, the, the, the rednecks. They love him. And so now we've had a chance and opportunity to see four years of Trump, of what the economy looked like, or what them SBA loans and them PPPs and them stipends and them and them free bands look like. And now we've had four years to see what Biden looked like. Well, the economy is shit right now. The streets are dried up. Nobody has money. God damn it. The uh, inflation is ridiculous. It, 
a, a freaking carton of eggs is sky high. Gas is sky high. The uh, the cost of living is ridiculous. You can't you can't even literally live on the wages that are going on. And everybody remember when's the last time I had money? Goddamn, when Trump sent them damn PPPs and them SBAs and them one two threes and them, you know what I mean? And so you weigh them. They both calling us nigga. They both don't really give a fuck about us. Trump serving steak. Biden serving bologna. I'm going to go eat me a steak dinner. Either way, I'm going to be called nigga. I'm going to eat some nigga steak instead of a nigga bologna sandwich. I think Trump going to win by yeah. land. But, but it don't, so it don't surprise you at all. That black folk, black folk, are openly saying, "I'm gonna vote for Trump." Nah, I, 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 it don't surprise you. It doesn't surprise me because of the fact of the matter is that if we look at their bodies of work in the last four years, if I looked at my bank account in 2020 or 2019, I look at my bank account now, I'm going with Trump. It looked better then. My expenses to profit ratio was better. My you know, my gas prices was down. My rent was down. It, it, it looked better. And that's not to say that I'm a Trump supporter. No, it's the lesser of two evils. They both going to fuck you, dog. One of them going to fuck you with some Vaseline. Which one you going with? You go with the Vaseline, nigga. All right, cool. You feel what I'm saying? And so, um, and you got, but we also got to understand this. Before Trump became president, black people loved him. When he was on the yeah, TV, yeah, show, yeah. we loved him. Niggas used to put Trump yeah. in their song, bro. I'm rich like Trump. We yeah, all, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It was, it was documented. Niggas would, niggas, Trump was hood. Nigga, Trump would be in the fucking goddamn parties, kicking shit, drinking liquor, fucking bitches. He was a gangster. You know what I'm saying? So when he became an office, he also, he a player, he a pimp. Hey, I don't got to worry about them right now because these folk going to be good because they don't like Hillary ass. So I'm going to go get these motherfucking redneck niggas and going to get me an ass in office. Then I'm going to throw these niggas some steaks, which he did. He threw us some steaks, bro. Biden threw us goddamn baloney. We starving. So, you know, at the end of the day, like, hey, one, one nigga going to call you. He going to call you nigga in your face. Hey, bro, I don't like y'all. I don't give a shit what y'all got going on. The other one, he gonna smile. Oh, yeah, we'll do everything for you. We don't give a fuck what they got going on behind closed doors. So that's why you got a lot of black people that's, um, that's starting to, you know, rock with Trump or whatever. Um, Am I supportive of either one? No, not exactly. It's a lesser of two evils. But that's every presidential election. The last president that we were really, really, like, emotionally attached to was, was Obama. Bro, and, and to be totally honest, if you really want to be real, he really didn't do a lot for us. But it, it was the it was the beacon of hope. Bro, I cried when Obama got elected. I remember I was in the military. I cried when Obama got elected. Because I felt like, man, a brother can do that. I can do anything I fucking put my mind to then. If a nigga can run this country, nigga, I know I can become rich. I know I can become wealthy. I know that I can achieve generational wealth. I believed in the American dream by seeing a black man up there on that damn podium. But since then, yeah, Trump, Biden, Hillary. I don't even know who ran against Biden. Last. Was it Trump? Yeah, Trump. You know what I'm saying? Like, eh. Mm, whatever. Who giving us more money? All right, Trump. All right, we'll this is that simple. What else is what else is Biden counter? Biden's counter offer ain't shit. Biden's counter offer is high gas prices, overinflation, motherfucker. Uh, uh, no, 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 higher taxes. You gotta understand. We done ran up all this money with Trump. A lot of people is in bro. COVID for a hustler. COVID was was a dream. COVID changed people's lives. COVID was the was a start of a lot of black entrepreneurship. When niggas was sitting in them damn houses for the months, they had to figure some other shit out and they couldn't depend on going to that nine to five. Niggas creative juices started going. 
Oh shit, I'm about to so start real. Doing this, that boy. is so real. Oh yes, sir. Oh yes, sir. We are. If you were hustling, you came up with COVID. If you if you were hustling, you remember COVID as a good thing. Like nigga, that's when I got my money together. So now a lot of us, in hindsight, are in different tax brackets than we were. Because before COVID, we were all most of us were employees. Now a lot of us are business owners. So now we're in different tax brackets. And here come goddamn Biden, goddamn. Won't more tax it? No. So, you know, you got to think about it. Like, and, and I hate to say it, Republicans, they look out a little more than the Democrats do when it comes to getting, when, you, when you're a business owner. At least from what I've, what I've, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a, but from what I've seen, like, ah, oh, well, I get some tax breaks going, fuck with these folk over here. And you got to admit, I'm a veteran as well. So I've been in the military. Republicans always look out for the veterans more than the Democrats do. So yeah, stereotypically, yeah, yeah. I should be a full-blown black Republican. I can't let myself be that, and you know, because of just of what it re- entitles. But they both calling us nigga. We'll go with the best deal. I'm gonna tell you, my brother. I enjoyed this time with you. Uh, we definitely got to make this a yeah. regular thing, yo, yeah. Dichi. <laughs> You, uh, I'm going to keep it so real. On one hand, you had me dying. <laughs> but on the other hand, you are so damn thought-provoking and you speak so much truth and you put it in a way that is so palatable and digestible to just the average man. I love this conversation, brother, and we definitely going to do it again. We're going to end this thing here, but I appreciate you. I thank you for coming on, and I look forward to the next time, bro. All love. Love and respect, my boy. Salute. Good man, my brother. Salute. Salute. Anytime. It's that ugly money. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.